cancer loves to live on sugar. Therefore, if you don't eat sugar, the cancer can't thrive. The problem is your body lives on sugar. Your brain needs it. Even if you never eat sugar, the liver will make it. Now, there's a rational basis for modifying simple carbohydrate and junk food. But the point is not to take it to an extreme and go through fasting and juicing. And although there's little to no science supporting juicing and intermittent fasting regarding cancer outcomes, it's not to say that an individual can't benefit if they truly believe that's going to help them. We have to eat frequently because we have a big brain and a little stomach, and the brain burns energy. Stress to the human body is not a good thing to do. Stress comes from nutritional deprivation. The idea that you can somehow improve your health through this fasting pattern, I think, is kind of silly. But if you enjoy fasting, that's a different thing. <music>